Well, hello there, one and all. How's everybody? Welcome to Sonic Flare. I am your lovable host, Danny K. Thanks for joining us. Please do click the like and subscribe button. You guys know with the algorithms and all that jazz, it really does help out. Wishing you everyone a very special and Merry Christmas. Uh, all the way out here from Szentendre, close to Budapest in Hungary. I hope everyone has a great, uh, spirited Christmas filled with joy. Hope you have a chance to hang out with your family and loved ones and just celebrate this season. We're here because we have two more videos to go this year. Yes, you heard that right. Today, the penultimate video. And of course, it is very special indeed. It has been sitting around on my shelf for a bit. I started working on it. I finished working on it. I restarted working on it. Uh, parts of it got, uh, got hung up elsewhere. Parts of it got published elsewhere. But uh, this one is really, really special. I hope you guys will enjoy it. And feel free to uh, leave your comments below, obviously. And take care. See you guys soon. Like I said, one more video. But now, let's check this one out. It's all good. I think all of us have heard a lot about uh, 2020 and the pandemic that's happened. And uh, I, was on, uh, I was on the phone a lot with other manufacturers and there was a lot of concern that rippled through the industry. Um, some of these manufacturers started laying off people very early because the news reports that were coming back were frankly scary. Um, that, I'd say that in the last 30 years, this is one of three times that uh, I was really worried about Wilson Audio. There were a couple of times in the past where um, sales uh, weren't very good and we were concerned. But as far as variables outside of our control, the pandemic is one of them. Um, I, I saw that as an opportunity. As, as an opportunity to show the team here, to show the Wilson family here that you are number one. So I resolved that not a single person would be let go due to pandemic issues uh, during this whole pandemic. Now we're still in the, the middle of the pandemic and who knows when it's gonna end, um, but it's, uh, it's satisfying to, to see the team, how through this pandemic and how it's such a divisive um, a topic and issue, 
that we've coalesced, we've come together during this time. We've been able to reinvest in the building, reinvest in people, reinvest in machines. We've reinvested in processes, in software. Um, we've used this time to not slow down, but to push forward. And it's really excited. It's invigorated the team here. And um, I, I've never felt so much, um, so much of a family bond with all the craftsmen and women here at Wilson Audio than through this time. It, 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 you read different leadership, you know, philosophies and books and whatnot. And really when it comes down to it, it's about building people. And the people here at Wilson Audio are building Wilson Audio. And I'm really proud to be a part of this team. So we're guys in the inner sanctum, the inner sanctum of Wilson Audio. It's almost like the heartbeat. And what is the heartbeat of Wilson Audio? It's the incredible CNC machines that they have that they use to cut the material, proprietary material, that they use in all of their loudspeakers. Daryl, I can't wait to hear what you're going to have to say. Let's go. Let's all go right, check let's it go out. check it out. Yeah, I've been really excited to show you um, and everyone this new machine. Okay. So What's the story? Use, we use a lot of different um, high-density phenolic resins, a okay. lot of proprietary materials that are made just for us. Okay. And you need a good machine to be able to, to um, plow through that material. So we have a new Northwood CNC machine. It's a dual table, dual head machine. And um, what is it, it's, it's a great investment for Wilson Audio because it's allowed us to go from a single table to two tables working at the same time. So over these last two years, we've been reinvesting in the building, in the people, and in the machinery here at Wilson Audio. And this is one of the great things that we've done. So if you want to show everyone that. And what is the most important element to a company? The people. Wilson Audio invests in the people because they know that the people make the product and the people make the business run. So kudos to them. Let's take a look at this machine. So I'm over the quality assurance for the wood shop side as well as paint and that's making sure all of the, the speakers are within the tolerances and that the paint finish is, uh, yeah, almost, I hate to say perfect, but uh, anyway, the paint is very critical part of our process and it's the beautiful part of our process as well.
that uh, we were a lot smaller back then. I think when I started, if there was probably about 15 employees total back in 94, and uh, the building obviously was a lot smaller. Um, and so the expansion, new paint booths, I mean everything, everything's completely updated and a lot different than what it was back then. I remember we would spray the glue in the corner of the wood shop because we didn't have a room for it. Get all over the walls, the floor, so. Obviously, yeah, now we got state-of-the-art equipment, and so we've come a long ways. The way that we take care of our customers, and we, we resolve any problem that they have, send them new, new speakers if that's what's needed, but you don't find that. You know, usually, like say, you buy something and it goes bad, you're stuck with it. But the, the way, the quality that goes into it, and the way that we take care of our customers, is, it's always impressed me. Yeah, so I started at Wilson Audio about 28 years ago, um, and things were quite a bit different back then um, than they are now. Um, our, our products were much simpler in their design. They, uh, a lot of flat surfaces, a lot of uh, squared off edges. Uh, if you see our stuff now, it uh, has lots of curves, there's lots of machining um, in its design, and so uh, they become a lot more complex in their uh, in the uh, not only the look of the product but also the function of the product. So um, I think it's changed quite a bit. Um, as far as uh, the, the changes in the way the, the company feels today, um, it feels actually quite a bit different. Um, I would say, from uh, an employee standpoint, we have uh, more input into uh, and more interaction with. Uh, with the designs and with um, the, uh, the final product, uh, we're able to contribute uh, our ideas and uh, interact with our engineering on uh, things that uh, we think should be in the product. And so I think that's uh, a nice improvement since, uh, since I've been here. Uh, I would say in our distribution um, of our products have also changed. Um, we're much more um, interactive with our dealers and distributors throughout the world. We used to just uh, get faxes in from them and communicate over the phone. Um, we now have uh, Zoom conferences with them, 
and um, and have uh, regular uh, text and email con uh, conversations with them on a regular basis. Uh, we just feel like we're more part of the te of, of, of team. We now take it another step, and we actually have our dealers come to Wilson Audio, and we have a formalized dealer training um, curriculum that they go through. Um, it's usually about a three-day curriculum, and we teach them um, all, all manners of things, not only just how we build our speakers, but how we would like them to do demonstrations, um, how, the, how to properly set up our speakers. Um, and it's a pretty intensive uh, training that, uh, that we have all our dealers go through. Yeah, I think the dealer training helps uh, the customer in, in several ways. One, it gives them um, a better setup. When the, when the dealer actually comes out to, uh, to, to set up their speakers, they have an expertise of, of being able to, uh, to, to get the best uh, in the setup of being able to get the best out of uh, the, 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 the sound of the speakers in the customer's listening room. Um, Going back, um, part of the dealer training is um, how to sell us, how to properly sell our speakers, and what what it is, what, what they can do to highlight uh, the benefits. And uh, I would say one of the things that uh, that I love about my job, and is I would say it's one of the things that's kept me um, here for so many years, is the relationships. Not not only with uh, the team of guys that I work with here every day, who have become like family but with our dealers and distributors throughout the world. Um, we interact with them on a daily basis and we get to know each other. We know about their families. We, we know more than just about the business and the, and the business of selling speakers. It's really about the relationships. Um, and that's probably what I enjoy the most. So uh, what, what I have here is a pair of Watt Puppy Fives. Uh, when I started Wilson Audio um, almost 28 years ago, uh, this was a speaker that I started to build uh, when I when I was uh, starting here, and uh, I found this pair of uh, speakers, and they were in you uh, know pretty rough condition, and I uh, brought them in here on my lunch hour, polished them up, replaced the diffraction pads on the uh, on the front of the speakers, replaced the uh, the woofers in them, and uh, they sound fantastic. They're like brand new again. Uh, to to increase the uh, performance of the speaker. Uh, I also added the, a pair of the acoustic diodes uh, spikes on the uh, on the bottom of the speakers, and they sound even better uh, with these new spikes that we put on them. So, nice. yeah, they're cool. <laughs>
and is just able to uh, to to keep rocking yeah. twenty five years past the time. Yeah. Awesome. All right, let's walk through it. Yeah. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go over into the new Relcap section. So okay. Wilson Audio, we um, we bought Relcap uh, in. Uh, 2018. Okay. End of 2018. And for the last three years, we've been building out this area and refining it, bringing it to Wilson Audio standards as far as fit and finish and as far as tolerances. This wasn't, you know, a, a cheap endeavor. And, um, and the machines that we have in here, we have a, a brand new machine that's being made in Switzerland for us right now. We're continuing to reinvest in this process. Um, we've been experimenting and where you've uh, come out with the co uh, copper capacitor line um, and we invested in this uh, new arc sprayer. So come over and check this out. Unbelievable. Hey, he had me at Switzerland because you know anything that comes out of Switzerland, be it chocolate or uh, machines or tooling, etc., it's the bomb. So, wow, what is this? So all this is uh, internally vented and uh, OSHA approved. This is where we spray the end caps of the capacitors. Wow. That is crazy looking. And I actually saw the process being applied in real time. First of all, it's loud as heck. We have to wear hearing protection. And the fire and flame flying out of this machine that, that does that, unbelievable to see. And most importantly, I think, unbelievable that Wilson actually takes the time, opportunity, and money to actually invest in the process to have this in-house. Because guess what? Everybody else is buying this from someone else. Kudos to Wilson. Well, I think overcoming obstacles. You know, it's a... Uh, it, and it starts with a vision that comes from the top. Uh, it starts with, of course, good products and people. And, um, and then including our, our dealers and distributors that execute, you know, on the other end. But it starts, you know, and, and ebbs, ebbs and flows, uh, depending on situation and circumstances. The culture, I think, you're defined when you have a problem. You know, how do you execute when there is a challenge? Because we've had that, and we've had some challenges in the history of the company that, you know, we strive for excellence, but there are things that are, are challenging. How do we respond to those? And... Um, and we try. So the, the collective group, the culture is one that working together, overcoming obstacles. And I really like, I don't like it when things go wrong, but I like to see the group put their head together. This pandemic that we've been in, it, it's a constant. You know, how do we overcome? And it's not just um, saying that we, we addressed it or working it, it's actually doing it. You know, I'm reminded of a, a friend of mine who recently I was doing some work with, and we were having technology, a technology problem with our, our technology. And he had some other things kind of pulling his attention, and he really didn't want to keep doing what we were doing. And this technology, because the technology was inhibiting us from executing. And um, he said, we tried because he, he wanted to go back and do this other thing. Well, I really wasn't satisfied with that. That's not the way we really operate at work. And we finally resolved the problem, and we were able to, to continue on and do the thing that we were setting out to do. And that's, that's what I love about Wilson Audio, is it's not saying, well, we tried. We're trying to do what we can. It's true to say, but that can sound very differently if you're really trying and putting forth every effort that you can. And it's one of the things that I've, I've grown to really appreciate and love about the culture here is, okay, if we've really tried and we can't do this, then what can we do?
Well, I, I guess I'll start by saying that the other night I was having a conversation with my wife about the Sabrina and just, she, she looked at me and said, the white Sabrina is my favorite speaker because she just loves the sound and loves the way it looks. And it really has been um, kind of a neat thing for our company. It's really changed the game with um, decor and you know, getting Wilson into homes that may never have been able to go into before. Um, twenty, you know, twenty years ago, I remember, and I still to this day, I remember walking in the back and seeing all these painted products, getting ready to go in the crates, and having that excitement and that tinge of like, oh, this is one of the coolest companies. That still happens today. It happened this morning. You know, you see, you see the progression of the fantastic metalwork and the design elements that we've been able to kind of um, we've been able to listen to history, listen to the voices of the past, and then just build completely on that. You know, methodology. Um, well, I you know, at lunch I was driving around and I thought, you know what's really interesting about Trent and myself and most of the dudes that work here is, you know, you get some people that it's all about just the audiophile sound, right? But the music they listen to is like, oh, okay. To me it's about music consumption and great audio gear. And, and how can we get both of those to be harmonious together. That's what I love. Uh, I love all different formats. I love making mixtapes. I, I did one last year during COVID and uh, just did a cool playlist in Rune, hit play, recorded it onto a metal cassette tape, and we need to be reminded of how awesome some of that stuff sounds still. Nakamichi tape deck. It, I mean, it was just fun. And uh, my kids are trying to find Sony Walkmans that have been restored and refurbished on eBay right now for Christmas. And they want to learn how to make mixtapes. And I think, it's, I think it's good for these kids to learn that kind of stuff, to get back to the tangible music media. So to say that visiting Wilson Audio, as I did today, was unlike any other time that I've been here before, and I've been here probably a half dozen times over the last couple of years, it is really a testament to not only Wilson thriving and taking this challenge over these last 18 months really to heart and, and making something positive out of it. And I think all of you guys and ladies have seen the results of, of the investment that Wilson Audio has made during these last 18 months. So... You know, I'm I'm super excited that I had the chance to to visit with Daryl and the team, and I gotta say, seriously, walking through these halls and seeing these pictures up on the wall that you guys see flashing by behind me, it's like you're walking through a piece of history. And when you consider the fact that Dave Wilson founded this company close to 50 years ago, right? It's half a decade. I mean, excuse me, half a century. Guys, let's think about that. Half a century of Wilson Audio. But like all stories, this one comes to an end too. Daryl, you've been a sport. The team's been fantastic. You Thank guys you. are gracious hosts. Yeah. Thanks for having me, and I'll be on my way. Until it's been next wonderful time. having you. Thank you. Travel safe, okay? Absolutely. Make I will. Thank you, sir. Thank you. All right. All right, I guess Take I'm care. out of here. Goodbye. See ya. Thanks, Daryl.